The Trump administration announcing new sanctions on Iran, potentially ratcheting up tensions with the Islamic Republic after several days of de-escalation. Fox News senior foreign affairs correspondent Greg Palcott has more from Jordan. U.S. and Iran could be heading for another showdown after a day of escalating tensions. Iran's supreme leader lashing out over the killing of Iranian General Qasem Soleimani in a drone strike. Just a few hours later, the State Department announcing new sanctions against a top general in Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps. And more could be on the way if Iran doesn't change its behavior. The sanctions we have imposed are the toughest ever. They are making an enormous difference. And the Iranian people are rightly blaming their own government for 40 years of corruption, mismanagement, and kleptocracy. The fallout from that drone strike is intensifying. Iran says it plans to file a lawsuit against the U.S. calling the Soleimani killing a terrorist act. And on Capitol Hill, Democratic lawmakers are asking tough questions about the intelligence that led to the attack and whether Soleimani represented an imminent national security threat. Just because that machine gun nest might be reloading, it doesn't mean it's not an imminent threat. It was totally justified by what he had done to our, to our brothers and sisters in arms. World powers are also stepping up their efforts to hold Iran accountable for the accidental shooting down of a Ukrainian passenger plane. Iran has announced three arrests related to the case, but Ukrainian officials say that is not enough. We must talk about recognition of responsibility by the Iranian top officials. We are not talking about which soldier pressed the button. That is insufficient for us. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei is defending the military unit that shot down the plane, saying they were protecting Iran's security. In Amman, Jordan, Greg Palcott, Fox News.